we have a good amount of time uh, remaining in this uh, afternoon event, and we wanted to open it up for any audience members who had either comments that they would like to make about things that they've heard so far, or any questions. And if they have any questions that they'd like to, they're welcome to direct them to any of the panelists, or perhaps even the elected officials who spoke as well. So, uh, as long as you keep your comments relatively brief, I'm happy to um, call on you and uh, what you have to say. I'm sorry, did Ms. Waller speak? Uh, the LMG uh, export facilities were brought in two per minute and four in progress. Where are they located? What's your question? I'm sorry. Two LMG export facilities are permanently and four that's under review. Where are they located? Where the four under review? I mean, at this point, I don't know the location uh, where these four are. When it comes to the two, they are. One is Port Dolphin, is on the on the on the Gulf side, and the other one is right across on the other side, and on the Atlantic. Uh, I don't know if you know Port Dolphin. I'm not that familiar with. It's about uh, I would say the, a little bit further north of Miami is on the Atlantic side, and more or less the same latitude on the on the Mexican Gulf side. Port Dolphin, north of Tampa. Well, I'm, like I said, I'm not familiar with the geography of. Uh, I just only know that they're existing. I have not been there yet. Jack, Jack's port is going to apply to export okay. Jacksonville. Hi, I'm Carol Singletary. One of the things that's really concerned me about this whole process is it's been incumbent upon the property owners to fight this on their own. The belief is, just looking at the information, that there's going to be um, trillions of excess cubic feet of natural gas. And you're looking at a property owner who's trying to prove that this company is using FPNL as the key to eminent domain so they can actually just make a profit. The stockholders are who are going to benefit from this, not FPNL. It is just the, the guys that they're using to gain access to that. Where, what resources can be provided to property owners to help substantiate or you know, prove or disprove that this is truly what's happening. It's a lot to ask a property owner to do hundreds of hours of research when we have the county being impacted and we have some really strong resources within our county government and none of them have been made available that I'm aware of to try to even look at that point. Um, I know it's going to be going across county properties, so where's, you know, is there even concern about that? Um, it's going to be coming near schools. Um, within 50 feet of some homes, and to make that proof, that burden of proof, to challenge that on an individual, it's just it's just overwhelming. And there should be some port in the storm to help property owners in this pursuit of is this really um, a truthful request even by Sable Trail? So, is there any resources out there that can help us in proving that? <laughs> if I may answer that question, the best thing it really is for any impacted landowner to contact uh, spectrebusters.org and to get together with individuals like uh, Mr. Rogers, myself, uh, Mr. Quarterman and others to join forces in this regard because this is a very valid question. Uh, because uh, when it comes to the um, eminent domain, uh, the power to trade private property has to be for public use. And apparently that is what's under question here. And so we ought to be able to form a group of concerned landowners who are joining forces. And also we have the financial means to be able to fight this. And there are sources, uh, legal sources available. Maybe um, um, uh, Mrs. Quarterman or Mr. Quarterman would like to comment on this as well. But the most important thing is we have to get together and talk. We have to get organized. And there already are certain things in the motion, as uh, Mr. Rogers indicated. Maybe you want to add something to that? Oh, <clears throat> what Dr. No said is, is a fact. Um, um, 